COVID-19 is just one of the anxieties children and parents may face about going back to school. Pupils may also worry about being bullied or making the transition from lockdown to being surrounded by hundreds of other children. Let's talk to clinical psychologist Dr. Marianne Trent. Welcome, thank you for joining us. And what are your thoughts on the issues that might be arising today and in the days ahead? I think they're multifaceted. There's so much going on. So for many children and young people, this might be the first time they've been outside of their homes at all, other than for exercise um, or to see close families, perhaps in gardens, things like that. It's really it's tricky because it, it, they're going to be going ahead against the advice of what mum and dad or, or parents or caregivers have, have been telling them over the last few months, you know, to keep, keep your distance, keep away from people, um, you know, don't go places where where there might be other people. So it's going to be, there's going to be a lot going on, um, but also, you know, if someone's transitioning to a new school, there's the added anxiety, stress, and worry about that as well. So what's the best advice then for parents on managing that transition? I think allow yourself to be human. Um, try to put yourself into your child's shoes a little bit, but also know that children don't yet have fully functional brains, so they don't have their frontal lobes here as yet. And so they can't necessarily think through um, the full consequences, the full implications and the full gravity of this global pandemic situation we find ourselves in. So allow, allow yourself to not be an expert. None of us are an expert in this. None of us have facilitated a return to school for our children um, or a return to work if we've not yet done that. So uh, just, I guess, have a, an open and honest policy where you can talk about anything that worries you. And, you know, I'll be saying to my children, we're not quite sure how it's going to work out, but we're going to try and do what's asked of us and, and see how it goes. And just let me know if something doesn't sit right. And what you're saying is obviously excellent advice, and it doesn't always come easily or naturally, because often a very, a very normal and understandable first response when a child is distressed is to say, don't worry, it's going to be fine, and just try to, to brush yeah. it off. What, what impact does that have on a child who's feeling in, in need of being heard? Of course. We really, as humans, are not great at tolerating distress in other people. And that's around for grief, that's around for anxiety. We want other people to feel good. We don't want people to feel awful. It's hard to watch as a human, it's hard to watch as a mammal, to see other people being distressed. So there can be a natural tendency to kind of distract somebody and cheer them up and direct them in a slightly different environment, but in a different perspective. But what we need to do is go, gosh, yeah, I know that is really tricky, isn't it? How did that make you feel? Is there anything I can do to help with that? Um, rather than necessarily trying to fix a problem which, which really might not be fixable at this stage. This is brand new territory. And so some simple words where you're not trying to fix can actually mm -hmm. have a greater a, a, a result in terms of actually fixing how they're feeling. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. It's about being validated. It's about being contained and heard. And I guess what um, my profession are really good at is is having those little conversations, but it's certainly something that parents don't need to be shying away from. You don't need to be thinking, gosh, I've got to keep my child jolly all the time. You know, they've still got to go into school tomorrow. But what is important is in terms of trauma debrief, like little mini trauma debriefs, is having a chance to think about how it's felt at the time, you know? So, you know, we can have a tendency to say, did you have a really good day? Was it brilliant? Did you, did you love it? And actually sometimes it's, it's useful to have a conversation about what was the trickiest thing you did today? Or was anything surprising? Was anything feeling a bit scary? We don't need to, the child's experienced that in their day anyway. Um, we don't need to shy away from that. We can give a forum where that, that you know, we can hear negative stuff as well as good stuff. And, and what advice to the many parents who will find themselves in the position of saying, what happened at school today? And the child just says nothing and doesn't want to talk. Yeah. What's the best thing to do? <laughs> That is, that is a puzzle. I mean, sometimes children don't want to talk about it right the second they get in. But for children with perhaps neurodevelopmental conditions, they're never going to want to talk about it anyway. And sometimes it can be really useful to have like a checkbox of kind of things that a, a child can go to if they feel they want to talk but find, struggle to find the words. So what was the best thing that happened to me today? Was anything worrying? Would you want to talk to mummy or daddy or someone else about X, Y, Z that happened today? Not everybody wants to talk about it the second they get in. And, you know, it might be an opportunity to really get back to basics 
and think about trying to eat around a table or trying to eat all at the same time without the TV on, without a distraction on, just to open up that communication, to see what comes out and to use it as a space of containment. We've been around our children, please believe me, we've been around our children for months now. It's going to be different. Change is tricky. Um, we've just got to allow ourselves and allow our children to grow into that change. We can't expect ourselves to be experts in things we've never done before. Good advice. Dr. Marianne Trent, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Woo -woo. Well, on the Grizzle campaign is representing...